Welcome back. Uh, in the last lecture, we are trying to prove the Wiles criterion for a q-distributed sequence. So, we are halfway through our proof on one side that was uh, what we wanted to prove that uh, if limit n goes to infinity 1 over n n equal to 1 to n e to the power 2 pi i k j n this is equal to 0 for all 0 non-zero integer then the sequence j n is equidistributed. So, in order to do that, what uh, essentially uh, what we have observed to show some, something is equidistributed, what we need to show, need to prove 1 over n summation n equal to 1 to n chi of a b for a sub interval a b in 0 1, this is this goes to 0 to 1 chi of a b t d t. This is what we want to prove and what we have achieved? We have achieved that for every one periodic continuous function f we proved limit n goes to infinity 1 over n summation over n from 1 to n f of j n this is equal to 0 to 1 f t d t. Now, from the continuous function, we would like to go to the indicator function of 0 1 step function. Of so, pictorially let us look like this. I have a b. So, indicator function of 0 1 is a, a b is this and then 0 here and outside a 0 here and 1 here. That is what the indicator function of this. Now, what I can do is that depending on my a, where is the position of a, I can find because a is strictly bigger than 0. Therefore, I can find some epsilon where this if a minus epsilon this is a minus epsilon and b plus epsilon this is going to lie inside the uh, interval 0 1. So, now I will take a continuous function which is this which takes the value at uh, uh, value 1 in the interval a b and it drops us that as we have seen it in earlier occasion this uh, area of this this is of course is this two triangle the year triangle the area is going to be epsilon plus epsilon which is 2 epsilon that is the maximum what I will get. So, now so, define. So, we can find epsilon uh, positive such that a minus epsilon is strictly positive and b plus epsilon is strictly less than 1 that I can always get. Now, if I take from or rather this this epsilon naught. So, any epsilon less than epsilon naught we have a minus epsilon and b plus epsilon this is in 0 1. So, now define 
f epsilon plus this is equal to of x is equal to 1 if x belongs to a b and uh, 0 if x uh, does not belongs to a minus epsilon and b plus epsilon outside this this is 0 that is what I am considering and this is a continuous function and continuous linear on the interval b uh, a minus epsilon to a union uh, b to b plus epsilon. So, as you can see that if I take the integral 0 to 1 of this continuous function t dt, then this is going to be a minus epsilon to a plus a to b plus b to b plus epsilon and uh, here in this, this is f epsilon plus f epsilon plus f epsilon plus. So, here this is equal to b minus a plus this one would be less than definitely 1 because it is linear. So, the entire thing is less than epsilon and this one is also. So, this is equal to b minus a plus 2 epsilon. Similarly, in a bigger picture my this is 0 1 this is my a b. So, now what I will do is so this is my a minus epsilon and then this is a plus epsilon this is b minus epsilon. So, I will take 1 over here and then I will drop it linear let us say this is b minus 3 by 2 epsilon then this is a plus uh, 3 epsilon by 2 and it will take the value 1 in between and after this this is 0. So, that this f epsilon minus of 1 t this is equal to 1 on a plus 3 epsilon by 2 b minus 3 epsilon by 2 0 uh, if uh, t does not belongs to a minus a plus epsilon to b minus epsilon and linear. Then clearly in this case integral 0 to 1 f epsilon minus of t dt this is equal to b minus of a minus of 2 epsilon. So, by the construction what we can see is that uh, f epsilon minus of t this is always lesser equal to indicator function of a b of t because uh, uh, on a minus plus 3 epsilon by 2 to b minus 3 epsilon by 2 it is taking the same value. Now, uh, indicator function of a b is goes up to takes the value 1 up to a b. Now, you are chopping it off which is less than 1. So, this is true for all t which again is lesser equal to f epsilon plus of t because there you are putting the ear outside a b small to small ear there. So, this is always true. Hence, what do we get from this? So, therefore, f epsilon minus of this xi n is lesser equal to chi of a b of xi n. which is lesser equal to f epsilon plus of j n. Therefore, the summation over n from
from 1 to n is lesser equal to summation over 1 to n is lesser equal to summation 1 to n. Therefore, if I divide 1 by n, 1 by n, 1 by n, remember that the both f epsilon minus and f epsilon plus they are continuous function. So, this is going to be 0 to this is this of course, is going to be 0 to 1 f epsilon minus of t dt. This is going to goes to 0 to 1 f epsilon plus t dt. Now, this we have seen that this is b minus of a plus 2 epsilon this is b minus of a minus 2 epsilon. Therefore, for every epsilon uh, for large n, we are going to get that this. So, now this is going to be sandwiched by this. So, when this goes to something like this will converge, let us say it converts to some limit alpha then this alpha is lesser equal to b minus epsilon minus 2 epsilon and b minus epsilon plus 2 epsilon and this is true for every very arbitrarily small epsilon. Therefore, thus limit n goes to infinity true for all arbitrary small epsilon. And that is what exactly what we wanted to prove and this shows that this will imply that j n is equidistributed okay so now we would like to prove the converse of while criterion so the converse it says the converse of while What does it say? If for all non zero integers k, uh, limit n goes to infinity one by uh, if no, no. So, if xi n is equidistributed then limit n goes to infinity 1 by n k j n this is equal to 0 for all non zero integer k Okay, so, now this statement uh, j n is equidistributed means what this we have seen that this implies that for every sub interval a b 0 1 what limit n goes to infinity um, 1 over n in how many giants are there in the interval a b this is the cardinality and then this is equal to b minus of a 
that means this is integral 0 to 1 indicator function of a b. This is given to us. Now, what we will prove that this happens. Now, if, if we can prove, if we can replace the indicator function uh, by a continuous function, then obviously, in particular we will get this, this is going to be a continuous function. As therefore, so now we had been given with let us say a continuous function, this is in fact the argument goes for uh, um, every Riemann integrable function. Uh, now, uh, if I have a continuous function and if I want to look at the integral of that, then uh, look at the Riemann prescription, how you are doing? We are doing, we are taking the uh, lower sum and the upper sum and where it converges then that is what the um, integral is. So, that means, if I take f l to be for certain if I am dividing it uh, by this f l of, of x, this is some m star and chi of i k f of x of x k let us say from 1 to n and rather this is m small n f where m f k or rather m k let us just put it that is much more simpler m k is infimum or rather in this case minimum because we are doing uh, the continuous function f of x says that x belongs to i k. Now, for this f l, now if I look at some m, now this f l of x, this is lesser equal to f of x. Now, what one can do is that this uh, then one of similarly, if I take the u upper sum is k equal to 1 to n, I divide a b into the n equal parts with the 1 by n and uh, then this is m k f uh, indicator function. i k. Now, if I take the this integral, then this is integral of f l is a lower sum. This integral of f u is upper sum. And now, the f l if I replace this this is true for every sub interval a b. Therefore, if I replace it in the 0 1 in interval uh, 0 to uh, this criterion, this is true for. So, therefore, limit n goes to infinity 1 over n summation over n from 1 to n. Uh, f l of j n, this is going to converge into the Riemann sum, this is going to n goes to infinity, this is going to get me the integral of this and the integral of this is nothing but the Riemann integral of this. Now, f l of j n is lesser equal to f of xi n is lesser equal to f u of xi n. Uh, hence, this sum which is lesser if we take out the limit here, 
this is lesser equal to 1 by n summation over n equal to 1 to n f of xi n which is 1 by n summation over n to 1 to n f u of xi n. Now, this side converges to integral of 0 to 1 f t d t and this converges to 0 to 1 f t d t. So, therefore, this the middle one has no other choice but to converse to 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 f t d t. So, therefore, in particular if we choose our f to be e to the power 2 pi i k uh, t, then by the previous observation we have got summation over 1 by n, n equal to 1 to n e to the power 2 pi i k j n, this is going to converse to 0 to 1 e to the power 2 pi i k t d t. Now, k is a non-zero quantity. So, once k is a non-zero quantity, this we have seen many times that this is equal to 0. So, this is uh, one application of the Fourier series. What we have seen is the, this is called the while equidistribution theorem. That is what the Wiles criterion is known as and which has many, many applications. Thank you.